Greetings, greetings, Mark Bonier. Welcome to part five of formatting Microsoft Word document. All right. So in part four, I shall looking at or could do signature line, tables and all of that. So in part five, we're going to be allocated more, you know, a little bit more technical than that one. So the first thing we want to do is insert a video to the document. All right. Insert header and footer to the document. Insert a text box in the document. Insert a photo in the document and wrap text it. Add a cover page to the document and insert a page border in the document. Right? So that's exactly what we're going to definitely do. So we want to bring up our document. So the first thing we want to do is insert the video. So we're going to actually insert that particular video. All right? So what we wanted to do, we're going to come right here, insert. Now when you click on insert, you're going to come all the way right in here. Notice this right here, it's an online video right here. Yes, definitely, very important. But if you notice, if you come like this and you click on the video, this is what will come up. So it will ask you for the URL right inside here, right? And as you can see, you don't have any URL. So what you can do definitely, you come right here in the taskbar, you go up like this. Notice this is several video like this, just like that. I want the URL from it. So what you wanted to do definitely in order for you to get the URL to insert that particular video right there. What you can do, you can actually right click on this one right here. If you notice, you can say copy address link. No, when you do that, no. All right, so let's minimize by that. So you're going to come right back up here, you're going to click. Now when you see this bring up right, so enter the URL code for online video. So you're going to put a cursor right here and right, right click, and then you're going to click on the repeat. So notice. This is it, so I'm going to click on insert. Notice, I'm going to click on insert. So this is a definitely the video right here, just like that. And this is where you actually get the online video right here on your page, all right? So the next thing that I wanted to look at, insert header and footer, very important. Now that for you to insert the header and footer, what you wanted to do, you come right here, insert, now, so when you click on insert, what you want to do, come all the way right here. Notice the header and footer. All right, so you're going to click. And let's click on header right here. You can select one right here, so that you can edit, which means I can put a custom header right here. All right, I'm going to select this one. Notice, notice the header right here, say type here. So I'm going to type say, all about computer. All right. And what I can do too, I can actually black it like that. I can come right here, I can actually give it a color. Just like that, any color of my choice, I can actually give it. All right, I can add bullet to it. Just the same. I can come right here, so I can actually center it just here. I can increase the font size right here, like that. I can actually change the font by clicking on carry bodies right here. It you can put it like that. When I finish, I can double click down here to close this. I can come right up here to so close it and put that just like that. All right. So the next thing that we wanted to look at is to insert a text box. All right. So we're going to get a text box. Now you're going to click right here, insert, right? Text box. You're going to come all the way over right over here. Notice this is the word text and notice this save text box. When you click on the pointer, if you notice right here. Simple text box, it's where that you can actually draw a text box. So all of these, you can come right at the side. You can actually take a time or you scroll down. You can see all different type of text box. You can actually scroll up just the same. If I select this one, this is what comes up. And if I put the cursor right here, all on the left side, I can actually shift it up just like that. All right, let me type something nice. Just like that. Notice, I can actually move it like that if I don't want it there. I can shift it like that and I click it. But you notice the box around it. How oh, can you really get rid of the box around it? You just click back and highlight it. Notice when I highlight it, I can take off, highlight it. If you notice right up here, you want to see this tab here, but if I come like this and I click back on it. You notice you bring up right here the shape format. All right, so what I want to do is to move the outline. So we're going to come right here. Notice right here. So see a fill, you're going to click on the pointer. Notice, this is what comes, you're going to say no fill. Now you're going to come right here that says shape outline. You're going to click right here, the pointer. 
Thanks for your time. See you in the next video.